we are in Ukraine and we are in Dnipropetrovsk and we today are right here in the middle of what is in front of us, the future and where we come from, the past. Olafur Eliasson, a Danish artist known for his grand scale art projects such as New York waterfalls, came to Ukraine to create another installation in an effort to take art out of museums and bring it to the public. You cannot modernize a country without having full um, confidence from everywhere in the system. What language is inclusive? That is the language of creativity. So it's art, literature, theater, and so on. I am totally convinced that you cannot modernize without art. This time, pushing things a bit further, he placed five art pieces as a permanent exhibition in the new steel mill in the industrial town of Dnipropetrovsk. The concept is very simple. From one side, the, the art. The art is kind of inspiration, vision, something unstable, movable, changeable. And from other side is the mill. The mill is something very strong, tough, working according to strong regulation. And if you join that, maybe we'll have something new. The new beginnings are already there and seem to be interesting. Some workers have no clue they stand next to the work of the internationally acclaimed artistic genius. Honestly, I don't care whether it's here or not. I saw it, it doesn't make my soul happy. And some, like Andriy Sholkov, find it inspirational. When you look at all this beauty, despite all this heavy metallurgical production, you get this new energy to do something of a better quality. The opening of the steel mill, the latest accomplishment of Ukrainian businessman Viktor Pinchuk, attracted a handful of high-profile guests, from European and American ambassadors to the Ukrainian president himself. The Ukrainian government has met with harsh criticism from the West for imprisoning their political opposition leader, Yulia Tymoshenko. While they are figuring out a way to resolve the situation, the appearance of the plant and Eliasson's Dnipropetrovsk sunrise indicates that processes, despite some political setbacks, don't stand still. The art is glowing, steel is pouring, and it seems to be only a matter of time before a real sunrise could appear in the country.